All right. Now that we have finished the finite volume formulation, now let us look at the uh, indexing problem. So here we have a mesh with 20 cells in the x direction and 12 cells in the y direction and the gray cells here uh, are the ghost cells and the green ones are the internal cells. So these cells in the memory will be represented as a two-dimensional array and therefore we need two variables i and j to index through the complete mesh. Earlier in case of 1D we had just a single variable i through uh, by incrementing the index uh, incrementing the variable i we could uh, we could traverse through the complete mesh. Now we have x direction and y direction as well so we need i and j so i will be uh, used for traversing through the x direction and j will be used for traversing through the y direction uh, here every uh, cell has got a unique index now here 9 comma 6 since we have our indexing starting from 0 comma 0 this is going to be the 10th cell from left and seventh cell from the bottom uh, the bottom most cell bottom left cell is going to have an index of 0 comma 0 and since we have 20 cells in the x direction and 12 cells in the y direction our indexing stops at 19 comma 11 so when we want to traverse to through only the internal cells uh, we will be starting at 2 comma 2 in this case because we have two ghost cells but in general it's going to be ghost cells comma ghost cells and we will be stopping at uh, in this case 17 comma 9 which is equivalent to the number of ghost cells plus the number of internal cells minus 1 that gives us 17 and similarly number of ghost cells in the y direction which is 2 plus the number of internal cells I think it is 8 here and minus 1 therefore 9 yeah. 2 plus 8 minus 1 that that will give us 9 uh, now since we have a nice structured mesh uh, to refer to the neighboring cells given a cell we can easily refer to the neighboring cells just by incrementing or decrementing the particular uh, particular variable that is a particular number here in this case if this is 10 comma 6 then moving one down is just 10 comma 5 Similarly moving one up is 10 comma 7. Similarly moving one towards left will be 9 comma 6 because this is 10 comma 6 and this one is going to be 11 comma 6. And therefore calculation of fluxes which will require the uh, information about the surrounding cells will be very easy uh, in, in this particular case because it's a structured mesh. We will be using for loops for iterating through the complete mesh uh, now uh, what will we do is we will have uh, two for loops uh, which will be uh, the second for loop will be within the first for loop the first for loop will iterate through the x direction and for every i we will be uh, incrementing j to move through the y direction that is how we are going to uh, completely traverse through the mesh for applying uh, whatever operation we are interested in so basically what you will see is that in our code we will only be adding additional for loops to uh, traverse through the other direction the rest of the code is going to remain almost exactly the same so I have written this small piece of code which helps me in uh, finding out the indices of the ghost cell and the other internal cells and it helps a bit in debugging so if you are interested in using this code you are free to do so I'll be uploading the source code for this particular indexing program uh, on github so find the, you can find the link in the description and I think that's that's all I wanted to cover here so I'll see you in the next video uh, where I'll be working on the code so I'll see you next time until then bye bye